Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit different than my normal content, but I am a brown girl who is a runner, so protective styling is a must. I start off with freshly washed hair and I am sectioning it off into three parts, two in the front and one bigger part in the back. Tools you need for this style are hair clips, a little brush to smooth down those baby hairs, a rat tail comb, edge control. I like this edge booster by Style Factor. This is the hair that I normally use for this style, free tress braid water wave hair, but I decided during quarantine to try some hair from Amazon. So it comes in this pink bag. There are six individual packs of this 18 inch 27 color hair and I will link it down below if you would like to check it out. I like to start on the left side of my head. It's just a personal preference. You can start on whichever side that you'd like. I am terrible at parting my hair, so it takes me forever to get my parts straight. But if you're not a stickler for straight parts, you can just part this however you'd like. But because it is in the front of my hair, I like the parts to be pretty straight so it looks good when I style my hair different ways. This first section is probably about a half an inch thick or so, and I just split that into two separate sections that I am going to twist down individually. Now here I just wanna make sure that the sections are nice and neat and everything is clean because I'm going to lay this down with edge control shortly. This is how the hair comes. It is all together on a gold string. I just cut that off. And as you can see, there are a bunch of individual strands that are available for twisting. This is a very important part of the twisting process. If you want your passion twist to be nice and flowy and bouncy, you have to individually separate each strand of hair. You can leave it whole as it comes, but your twist will be uh, much more compacted and not loose when you finally put them in your hair. So make sure that you separate each piece individually. It is time consuming, but it will make your style look all the more better. Next up, you want to get out your edge control. What I am doing here is just lining the entire box of hair with the edge control. Once that's done, I'm going to dig back into that edge control and slide it down my entire hair and brush it with that little baby hair brush to make sure everything is nice and smooth. I like to do that little twisting motion at the beginning of the braid because it makes everything nice and tight and just keeps everything smooth and together. So I braid the twist at the beginning and then I twist the rest of the way down. Once you get down to the end of the twist and you let it go, it unravels a bit and it has that passion twist look. I like to alternate rows between using one strand of hair and two strands of hair in the twist. So the first row I use just one strand of hair and for this second row I'm going to use two strands of hair for each twist. This is because I don't like my twist to be super full. If you like a more fuller look then use two strands of hair for every twist on your head. But I like to alternate my twist so it makes it a little you know, not so full. <laughs> Here are the two strands fully separated and I'm just going to put those together and stretch them out a bit and then twist them so that they stay together when I am applying it to my hair. 
and I just want to zoom in here so you can see exactly what I'm doing so I braid the hair down first and I usually count to about eight or nine when I'm braiding so this would be one two three four And I already did a few before so now I'm going to start twisting and when I twist I twist and turn so hopefully you can see that clearly just detangling the hair so twist and turn twist and turn So once you get to the bottom and start loosening up the tension on the twist, you see that, I'm talking to my husband here, <laughs> the twist will bounce back up and you'll see that passion twist pattern that we all love so much. People always ask me how do I get my hair to stay so smooth with the passion to his hair and as you can see right there I take more edge control if my hair gets puffy and I smooth it down and I make sure that my natural hair stays smooth all the way down until I get to the end of where my natural hair is. As you can see here, I did a little triangle pattern on the top two rows of my hair. It gives the style a little definition and it just looks pretty cute. This is the right side all complete. You can see how the boxes look, the different sizes and the patterns. The boxes do get slightly smaller at the top but not too much and the alternating of the hair one strand and two strands give you this semi full look so it's not too much hair and it doesn't get too heavy. I like it this way. This is what the finished front looks like. And I just like to put everything up in a nice neat bun while I take care of the back of my hair. For the back, I'm just not all that precise with my parting. I use the comb, but I mostly use my fingers to separate the parts. Because I can't see it, <laughs> I don't know how good or bad it looks. So I just use my fingers and I don't need the back to be perfect. And here is the finished product. I love doing passion twists because the style is cute, it's simple, and it is quick and easy to do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want more hair tutorials, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to do those. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.